All right, so we have a, an unboxing. Uh, I'm bagging. I'm bagging. <laughs> Take a guess what it's about, um, right? Uh, now, because we have ordered in the same way we always order and how everyone likes to flame me for it, uh, I'm going to go first That's because fine. that way people will stick around to watch yours, the one they actually care about. So Carolina has uh, unveiled New Jerseys that they're going to wear. Whale, whale, they're going to wail <laughs> for what? Two games? It's I a saw at least slate. one. Yeah, I saw at least one in February randomly. Um. And so it is the Hartford Whalers, and this time they have gone with the white jersey. Phil's wearing the one they wore previously, uh, and it is gorgeous. And uh, look, as a as a Mercyhurst alum, I have plenty of green and blue, but um, to, I don't have enough Whalers, and it's nice. It's nice, and I know it's Fanatics, and I know the hate's coming, but for something like this, at least I got a name on the back for the same price of what Phil paid. And um, for how often I'm actually going to wear it, I'm okay with this. Actually, the logos on the sleeve, on the shoulders are better quality, the same quality as the crest, uh, which is not a common thing. Uh, at least on the Hartford jerseys I've bought before. Well, with the Fanatics, and actually, I do like th this as a crest versus like the Reebok one, which is kind of faded away. Like that's at least going to hold up a little bit better. Right. Like you know, this, the press on the back is not amazing. I, I do worry about that. The one problem I really have with Fanatics uh, thus far. I know all of you have plenty of thoughts, but all in all, for the same price, I like having a name on the back. So I'm going to unveil mine now. Uh, mine does not have a name yet. Um, I, we get them we, every twice a year. We sound to get customized, so maybe I'll get it customized uh, just because. I mean, it was the cost. I mean, it was very expensive, so I did get the Adidas version. They really crammed it into the mailbox, didn't they? Yes, they did. Oh, it wasn't even out on the. It wasn't even on the stoop. It was in the mailbox. Oh no, you're right. It was out front. Let's say UPS delivered. And uh, here we go. So this. Baggy. There, there we go. And so here is the Adidas version. Um, and are we, are we are we closing up? We're closing up. I mean, they're the elements are the same. Like the collar is actually the same. Yep. Hanger effect with the uh, it's the storm surge. Actually, yours is different. It's this is a uh, a rubbery substance. Like it's actually yeah. like that. And this is not. This is actually uh, like a screen. Oh, it press. is. It's, print, it's printed directly. Yeah, it's in. Printed, in, directly in it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shoulder patch. Fully which, embroidered. I fully mean, that's, embroidered. that's a, you know, you're paying for that difference for sure. And then it has, Stupid puck. I mean, the silver crest. The crests are different. Yeah. Shiny. And then I have the actual, the logo, and it's, it's not, it's still kind of like a plasticky feel to it. It's not like some of the other ones we've seen where it's actually like a... It is, well, it's certainly not felted. It, it's, it's twill. It doesn't seem like the best quality twill. And then, of course, all of these are, um, it's, a, it's a different way... Each of these is stitched together versus all the whites, the base here. Yeah, and so they this stitch is, on top this of This is all layered here, yeah. Yeah, and the layering's different. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, I'm more a fan of the yeah. Adidas ones myself. And uh, when I saw this, I said I almost pulled the trigger for the one with the name on it, but we do have a customization box coming, uh, building soon. So maybe there'll be one I have to customize. So it's a great look. Um, I mean, if you're, not, if you're not familiar with the history of it, like they were very, they didn't do anything Whalers when they moved from Hartford to Carolina. Well, Hartford owned the rights for a very right. long and time. I, it was complicated. Isn't it still, they still kind of own the rights? No, they had to give it up, which is why all of this has happened. Okay, because I was wondering, like at one point they get switched, and they only do it for like one or two games. Um, and for a while it was just one game, and just people love this. It's a great logo. Like, it's a great you, logo. You talk to anyone, anyone that's not even a hockey fan, they know this logo. They enjoy the logo. So many elements part of it. And, you know, there was that debate, like, the uh, Hartford mayor, he's trying to get a team back there. That's probably not going to happen. And, no, it's just Hartford's, unfortunately, just has a small market. And you're right there by Boston. Like, it's It's, it's not what it used to be. Right. Uh, but they're like, well, do they bring back the Whalers? Because, that, that, I mean, that's what everyone wants there. But now I guess they don't own the rights. So they really can't bring back yeah, the it's, Whalers. It's very complicated to say the least. But there is a reason why there was nothing Whalers for a very long time. There was there was a debate. Um, yeah. So, um, what are your thoughts? Uh, post in the comments. You're going to get one. Um, you're going to get a player. Who's, what player are you going to pick? 
and uh, let us know. John? All right, so now I did want to do a wear test because, again, everyone loves to hate on Fanatics. I think this fit looks fantastic, and it's an XL, and I think it fits me perfectly. And I look, I, I just I think it's a better thing. Now, I, I will agree that the, the fit of Fanatics is better than the Adidas one, and I have the Adidas one on. And as you can tell, um, a, as a, a larger individual in general, you know, this is not a true double X. Okay? No, no, and the and, 50s, I, I mean, 52s and stuff, and even 40, 48s fit better than some of these 56s right. doing Adidas. I, and, and I'm, I'm a bigger person than John, and XLs for Fanatics fit me just fine as well. But for Adidas, it says a 56, but I think it really measures to like a 54.2. So yeah, it's like, it's, it's almost two inches, inches, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's it's very deceiving. And like, the only one next is the, the 60, which, which is the 3X. It's, yeah. just, it's just big. You swim in it. So like, it fits well here. You see it tight in. I'm a broad shoulder person, so it is tight a little bit up here. But it's still, this one fits better than some of my other 56s. So there's always an inconsistent. Like the Fanatics do have more consistency in their sizing, which hopefully, hopefully when they do finally take over fully, that is something they keep sure because this has been a very disappointing. That's the one thing about Adidas. They're 56 is it? And, I don't and there's a range between team to team and jersey to right. jersey. What fits well? My Boston ones, there's an actual, like, actual distance difference between right. the third and the home. Right. What? Yeah. So. And, and maybe it's from different factories, from plants, whatever it is. But this is what it is. It, it looks pretty well, pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to eventually get this customized and see what it is with some nice... And uh, I'm happy to be done. I also do like they picked the era where it actually does angle, and it's not just straight across. The later ones went straight across. Um, slight differences in Whalers history. Interesting but, enough, like I'm just noticing your seat, like you don't have a seam down the middle. I do have a seam down the middle. Yeah, well, it's, it's different ways it's, it's cut. It's just cut. completely different ways it's cut, which is this, it's meant to be more like a shirt that is more like, supposed to be more like a jersey, which, ish, I have my issues. I'm a CCM. Yeah, CCM. and that was, we were hoping that CCM was going to get it. Isn't yeah, CCM, CCM owned by Reebok? It's all technically owned by Adidas. Well, owned they've owned been, Adidas. there have been spinoffs and things. It's hard to say. They were all under Adidas' as umbrella. Right. So They were. But, uh, yeah, there we go. There's so, the, the fit test. Well, so there you go. So, Phil, why don't you take us out? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, you know, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A lot of new jerseys coming out soon. Uh, we got some Winter Classics eventually going to get released and uh, maybe a couple thirds. So make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when those videos come up to see our takes on those video on those jerseys and how they look. And tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds. Adidas isn't that great. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is Adidas isn't that perfect. They're not perfect.